Welcome to tonight's Offer Vault webinar. This is Mark Roth, and wanted to uh, get things going for you here tonight. Uh, we have uh, our tag team of Carlos and Lupi. They um, are kind of legend, legendary in the, in this media buying world. I've heard stories from them for a long and about them for a long time about some of the things that they pulled off, as far as some of the campaigns that they uh, that they have driven. You know, just huge, huge amount amounts of traffic uh, to, and you know, so I'm real. I'm kind of excited to hear about this webinar myself tonight. So I'm looking forward to it. We also have John Schubert on with us. Um, so we're kind of bringing in all the big guns tonight, and you know, John has a lot of media buying experience as well. So they'll be, um, you know, taking questions as well later. But with that, I want to turn it over um, to you guys and get things rolling. So. Uh, thanks again, uh, everybody, for coming, and thanks, uh, Carlos and, and Lupe, to, uh, for coming tonight and putting on this uh, presentation. Thanks. Thanks, Mark. Welcome, everyone. Um, um, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. I just want to say hi to everybody out there, and it's great to see everybody all over from the world joining us here tonight. And it might not be night in your place, but it's night here. So, great. Cool. We're excited. We got some pretty cool stuff to show you guys today. You know, some of the strategies we've used to be able to drive massive amounts of traffic. So, uh, you know, you're in for a real treat, you know, because uh, we have some uh, killer strategies for you guys tonight. Cool. So, our promise to you is at the end of this presentation, you're going to know exactly how to create a million dollar ad, even if you never purchased any online advertising your entire life. I know that's a big promise, but stick around. We're going to show you. We got this thing down to a system, and you know what we what we figured out is it all comes down to creating a killer ad. You know that gets killer click through rates. Because if you get your ad right, it all starts with the ad. Then you know the rest of the campaign you know becomes easy. Cool. So you know that's probably one of the biggest things we discovered is that all it really takes is one ad. To be able to go out there and crush it, you know, once you find that one winning ad, that one winning hook, you can go out there and just start, you know, getting, you know, massive and massive amounts of traffic. So if you're over there sitting by your computer listening on this conversation and this webinar, um, and you always wanted to have extra traffic and just really get it going, well, tonight's the night that you're going to go ahead and uh, experience that. So as you can see on this, you know, screenshot here from some of the media buys, you can just see, you know, how much traffic is available. You know, weather.com there, you know, we have over 2 million clicks. MSN, 2 million clicks. Everyday Health, 1.5 million clicks. So you can see that there's, you know, just tons and tons of traffic available, you know, once you get your campaign right. So because you took action today and if you stay online online and you know go through the whole webinar with us, we wanted to give you a present just because it's been a big thing for us to take action and I know many of the people on the call with us like John and, and Mark and everybody knows the power of taking action and really doing something with what you learn. So because you're on here tonight with us and because you're going to be with us throughout the whole webinar, we'd like to go ahead and give you our secrets to getting mass traffic guide that actually has changed many many lives and a uh, funny story that I'm going to share with you tonight is uh, we got a uh, Facebook uh, a message from a person that we had never met but that had gotten our book for free and uh, he you know he contacted Carlos said I live around your area in Florida you know I'd like to meet with you and I just wanted to let you know that thanks to your book um, what was the numbers that he had said I can't remember he started right. doing like $80,000 a day yeah, thanks to our book, he started to drive traffic and actually start getting sales at $80,000 a day. So he's not the only one. There's been several other people, but he's the one that sticks out the most just because he you know, physically came in and thanked us for it and said how awesome it was for us to uh, share this book with him. So out of anything that you get out of here tonight and listening to us, I definitely recommend you, you, know, you stay on with us, you read the book, and you take action with what we've given you. And before we, you know, get started, you know, I'd just like to share with everyone, you know, how we even, you know, got started in the business. Before, uh, you know, we started uh, in playing with media buys, I was actually a cable TV installer. 
and uh, you know, um, I always wanted to start my own online business. And uh, you know, as I was doing my installs, people would ask me for, uh, you know, uh, can you give me one of these cable boxes? Can you give me one of these cable these scramblers? And uh, you know, I kept thinking to myself, man, I got to figure out how to get these cable boxes. I could probably make some good money on the side, you know, some nice extra cash. And uh, I saw an ad in Popular Mechanics one day when I was at the grocery store with Lupe, uh, a company advertising these cable these scramblers. So I started buying these things wholesale and, you know, started selling them during my route. And whenever there was going to be like a big, big pay-per-view event or, you know, a big fight, uh, you know, my phone would just ring off the hook. And uh, me and Lupe would drive around all of Chicago, you know, delivering these things, dropping these things off. And I would come home with like $3,000 cash in my pocket. And, you know, I was like, wow, I'd make, I was making more money in a day than I was making a whole month as an installer. And then one day I saw an ad uh, by Don LaPree, an infomercial, on how to make a million dollars out of your one-bedroom apartment, you know, running little classified ads. I ordered the kits. It came in the mail. And I started running these little classified ads. And that's when I really saw the power of advertising. I started running these little classified ads in little local newspapers. My phone starts ringing. You know, before you know it, uh, you know, you know, the phone just stopped, kept ringing and ringing. I had to quit my job, and Lupe ended up quitting her job so that we can, you know, just uh, keep up with all the orders. Um, and then the Internet came along, and that's when I got really excited. I'm like, wow, you know, like now I can use the Internet to get a lot more traffic to my website. So, you know, I hired a webmaster. You know, I looked in the yellow pages. I hired a webmaster to put together my website, and I was all excited. But then, I mean, nobody was coming to my website. And that's when I realized, I'm like, all right, you know, the most powerful thing here is figuring out, you know, how to get traffic. And that's when I started going, you know, to all kinds of different seminars and reading everything I could and, you know, started testing all the different ways of getting traffic. And it wasn't until we tapped into media buys that, you know, we really started, you know, crushing it. I mean, this was back in 99. And, you know, we started doing like $2 million a month in sales with our campaign. And, I mean, $2 million a month, you know, nowadays with media buys is nothing. But back in the day, I mean, those were some pretty big numbers. And, you know, it was all thanks, you know, to media buys. And our next campaign, you know, which was a diet product, we ended up doing even bigger numbers. We simply, you know, implemented everything we learned about media buys. And we started doing like $5 million a month with that campaign. And we ended up driving more traffic than some of the biggest players out there, you know, guys like E-Diets, Jenny Craig. Atkins, all thanks, you know, to media buys. So I'm really excited because, you know, uh, you're going to see some of the strategies, you know, that we've been able to use to, you know, drive that kind of traffic. And, you know, it was all because, you know, uh, we took action and we decided, you know, to go for it. You know, if we would have never went for it, you know, we wouldn't be sitting here, you know, talking with you today. Uh, the funny thing about that story that I just remembered was uh, uh, Carlos says he bought the Don LaPree, you know, how to make money from your one-bedroom apartment. At that time, we were actually in a one-bedroom apartment. <laughs> and shipping out all those pro all that product, our whole entire apartment, if you can imagine it, it was like a 500-square-foot apartment. And the entire thing was covered in peanuts, those little uh, pink little things you throw into the packaging. It was the funniest thing. Stuff would be attached to my clothes when I walked out the door. It was so hilarious. And... It even got to the point where somebody called the cops on us because they were thinking we were probably selling drugs out of the apartment, and the police came and knocked yeah, on our door. UPS would come and deliver these cases of cable boxes, you know, and like we would have UPS pick up stacks of orders every day. So the neighbors started freaking out. They called the cops, and you know, the cops come by, like, hey, what are you guys doing? You know, we're like, any complaints? And hey, I showed them, hey, you know, we got this product. And like, hey, can you give me some of those cable boxes? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, definitely it was, ironically it was a one bedroom apartment full of peanuts. But uh, yeah, I too want to say taking action and something that's changed our life forever, you know, you never know what's going to turn out at the end and that's why we're here to share with you, you know, how we went ahead and did that and how anybody else can do it as well. Cool. So what we're going to share with you is going to be exactly what to include in your ad and why. Why 98% of people that make an ad fail and we promise to show you how you don't need to follow that same path of disappointment and frustration because you don't want to go out there and put out an ad and not see any results with it. 
how to make killer ads even if you never made a single ad in your entire life. And this I have to say since I was working in the uh, creative department for that whole campaign and I still do, the big struggle that I had to go through just to figure out what campaigns work or what ads work or how to do it, I mean you don't have to worry about that. We're going to show you tonight how you're going to do that very easy. And here's the power of you know getting your ads right. As you can see, you know this is with media buys. This is a media buy screenshot. You know we've gotten close to a billion impressions, and we're getting clicks at two cents a click. That's the beauty. You know if you get your ads right with media buys, if you get your click through rates high enough, there's tons and tons of traffic you can get. You know for dirt cheap. And that same traffic, as you can see, is going on Google anywhere from five to nine dollars a click. So a huge, huge difference, you know, with media buys. I mean, there's just so much traffic out there. So that's that's really crazy that somebody would pay nine dollars and twenty three cents for somebody clicking on their ad, but they're really not even purchasing anything. They're just clicking on your ad. So even five dollars is high, nine dollars is high, and that's just basically you know getting somebody in the door. So I mean, you know, those same clicks are going on Google anywhere from five to ten dollars a click, and a lot of you probably can't even imagine, you know, like getting traffic for this cheap, you know, for getting traffic for pennies on a dollar because you've been overpaying so long, so you know, such a long time for that traffic. And I mean, why do you think Google's worth so much? You know, I mean, they're just raking it in. And you know, there's a ton of traffic out there. You know, when you get your ads right, you know, you can get tons of traffic at a fraction of the cost. So you're gonna want to make sure you write some of these tips down. You know, we're gonna be sharing with you some golden nuggets, you know, things that we've learned over the last 10 years of buying media. And you know, we've purchased over a hundred million dollars in online advertising and done, you know, thousands and thousands of split tests. So you're definitely going to want to take some notes because it's definitely going to give you a head start to get you going. All right, so we're going to be showing you how to create killer ads that can you that you can go out there and use to drive insane amounts of traffic. How to get more traffic than you ever thought possible in the next few days. And what it feels like to be able to flip a few switches and turn up as much traffic as you want on the map. Now I can't tell you, like, you know, we went through all the ways of driving traffic. I remember starting in the search engine optimization days, you know, where we would build pages, wait, and then we'd lose our rankings. You know, I can't tell you how easy it is with media buys, because I mean you literally you can set up a campaign and literally, I mean you can have traffic in an hour nowadays. I mean, you know, that's a lot of power you know, uh, in order to grow your online business. And the beauty is we're going to show you how easy it can be by modeling, you know, what's already working. You know, it's pretty much just like printing money. So what we're going to cover is the five biggest mistakes, you know, the five biggest mistakes we see people make, you know, when it comes to online media buys. So that you can make sure you know you don't make the same mistakes yourself. You're gonna learn about a certain part of the brain we've discovered that gets people to react to banner ads like crazy, where we were able to get you know crazy click-through rates. And we're gonna be sharing with you the two main secrets we have learned from buying over hundred million dollars in online advertising. We're going to show you how to analyze data accurately. Now, this took me a long time to figure out, you know, with media buys, that exactly how to look at the numbers. And most people look at the numbers the wrong way, but how to look at the numbers so that you know you minimize your risk and you maximize your profits. And you'll see the one thing that all our successful ads have in common. You know, you're going to be shocked with you know some of the type of ads that work. And I think it's going to be a real eye opener, you know, if uh, if you've uh, been playing around with media buys. So the biggest thing is, you know, did you know that the average banner only gets a point zero two click through rate? That means out of every thousand ad views, the average only two people, you know, click on them. 
So we're going to show you how we've been able, because of that, you know, the traffic goes for a, for a going rate. You know, because, you know, most banner ads only get an average of two clicks for every thousand impressions, that's how the traffic gets priced. So if you're able to create ads that get really high click-through rates, that's how you're able to get traffic, you know, for pennies per click. As you can see with this ad here, we're getting, you know, over 554% the average response rate, you know, 1.88%, you know, click-through rate. And I know that you may be sitting at your computer right now thinking, what do I care about click-through rate, right? But just think about this. You've got to, the biggest, the one thing that I was thinking about when Carlos was telling a story, the minute we created our website back in the 90s, and, you know, we were all excited and we wanted to see people rushing through the door. This is practically the same thing, you know. Where to get the traffic? I mean, we showed you that at the beginning of the slide. You know, you could get it from Yahoo. You can get it from Weather. You can get it from Google Display. It's not where can I get the traffic. It is once I have that traffic, how many people are going to click on my ad? So right now that you're sitting there, there is a big difference between the average click-through rate, which is 0.02%, and compared to 1.88%. So once you're in the 1% of click-through rate, you know you have a winning ad. You know that you're doing something right. And those people that are clicking on that, you're, they're coming into your website. And now your website's job is to go ahead and sell your product. But without that high click-through rate, you're never going to get people in your store. It's like opening up for the day and never seeing anybody come in. So it's definitely important that you know what your numbers are for that. And the reason, you know, click-through rates are so important, you know, I want to emphasize on that. Most of the traffic you'll be buying, you'll be buying it on what it's called a CPM basis, you know, it's cost per thousand. You're, you're not paying per click, you know, for that traffic. Sometimes you can, but, you know, a lot of times we prefer to pay for it on a CPM basis. Uh, you know, pay for it uh, by how many times the ad is shown. The reason being is if you do a good job and create ads that get a high click-through rate, that's how you're able to get traffic, you know, for pennies. That's how, we, that's how we were able to get traffic for two cents a click, for three cents a click, right? Because, you know, you're buying that traffic on a CPM basis, and then you are creating ads that get really high click-through rates, and that's what allows you to get that dirt cheap traffic. And once you're able to do that, I mean, you can just buy a ton of it. I mean, think of it. If on average your website is making a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, you know, earnings per click, and you can get that traffic for pennies per click, I mean, you're going to want to go out there and buy as much of it as possible, right? Because you're just turning, you know, nickels into dollars. So, I mean, this is, you know, the, the high click-through rate is the number one of the number one, you know, things you need to get right, you know, because that's what allows you to go out there and get traffic, you know, for pennies, as I just explained. We're also going to show you, you know, how to create ads that make a great ROI. Because at the end of the day, I mean, that's what it's all about, right? Making money. So if you look at the screenshot here with this ad, you know, we've generated over 1.5 million clicks. Uh, we've spent $151,000 in traffic, but it's made back $458,000 in traffic. You know, that's how you create and That's how you can create a banner ad, you know, that makes you a million bucks. And, I mean, that's really what it boils down to. You know, you get one ad, you get it right, you can go out there. I mean, this is just one traffic source, you go out there to all the, you know, major traffic sources, and that's how you make, you know, your million bucks, and that's how you create your million dollar ad. And I just want everybody to kind of pay attention to those numbers and really let it sink into your brain. Right here, if we take off of all these zeros, you're talking about, let's just see it in smaller numbers, $151 you've spent to acquire customers, and you've generated 458 bucks. So if you look at it from that perspective, it's no brainer. All you're doing is investing that money and you know doubling it or tripling your money. And it, as you can see, it's not a the click through rate, the CTR, which is the click through rate, is at 0.84, which is above the 0.02 average. So that's a wonderful thing to have. And this is what the game is all about. Again, you know, it's where where you get the traffic from. You can get it from anywhere. What you do with that traffic is what really matters. And the one thing I want to emphasize, you know, go back to that screenshot because I, I get this all the time. You know, people are like, wow, you know, those are big numbers. You know, uh, I don't have that kind of money to play with media buys. The beauty is, 
you can get started with media buys with as little as you know twenty five dollars a day in traffic. You know, you can cap that traffic. What you do is you buy that traffic, you put a daily cap of maybe ten, twenty five dollars a day, whatever you're comfortable with. And you know, we're, we're going to be showing you how we do some of the testing and how we, you know, evaluate if that traffic's going to be profitable. And then you only ramp it up once you know it's making you money, right? And once you know that it's making you money, boom, you ramp it up and you take as much of that traffic as possible. Because then, you know, you're basically turning, you know, like I said, you know, nickels into dollars, you're going to do that all day long. So why learn, you know, media buying? I um, mean, if you're not already doing media buying, or even if you are already doing it, you know, you're definitely going to want to, you know, sharpen up your skills because online advertising, you know, display advertising is becoming the fastest growing vehicle, period. You know, the banner ad, ad unit is the number one ad unit on the internet. And if you're not using it, I mean, you're missing out, you know, big time. And if, as you can see on the screenshot below, look at the internet and TV. I mean, in a few years, it's even going to surpass, you know, TV advertising. So definitely, you know, it's becoming the number one way to advertise, to get the word out, you know, to sell your products, to make money. You know, so you definitely want to make sure, you know, you stay ahead of the game and you learn, you know, media buys. As a matter of fact, a lot of the TV shows, if you miss them, or anything, you can watch the episode on the internet. So it's becoming TV, you know, your portable TV. So just think about that. And it is the number one thing that you can learn. And not only that, but you owe it to yourself to learn this. You know, I know that maybe you're already driving traffic or maybe you're already doing something with the internet, and that's fabulous. But if you're not, you have to definitely do something about it because uh, the whole entire world is turning into that turning and focusing on the internet like as on this call right now we have people from all over the world whereas before we can only communicate to the people that were you know locally and and yes we could go global but we couldn't do it as easy as we can do it today so I definitely want to urge you to learn what's how to get the traffic and what to do with it once you have it and you want to make sure you know you control your traffic and you're not just depending on like Google I mean Actually, that's how this all got started, you know, like media buys. Because, you know, I mentioned, you know, the first campaign we had when, you know, I first started, you know, we first started during search engine optimization. Then we moved into PPC. You know, we started buying traffic from like Google and, you know, doing pay per click. We were actually hardcore search engine people. If you searched our product, we were the, the only people on that entire page, regardless of whether it looked different or not we owned the whole first page of Google. And, I mean, Google eventually caught, up, caught on to us, and, you know, they ended up banning all our domains. And now I had, you know, inventory, employees, right? And, like, all of a sudden, you know, the orders start coming, stop coming in. And I'm like, man, like, what am I going to do now? You know, like, I just lost all my traffic overnight. But, you know, that day I thought it was, like, the worst day of my life. You know, I'm like, man, I just lost my entire business that I worked so hard to build. But that, I mean, thanks to that, I started exploring, you know, with media buys. And once we tapped into media buys, I mean, the numbers we were able to do with media buys were like just insane. I mean, you know, yeah, we were doing, you know, a few thousand, you know, with uh, with PPC and stuff. But I, I got to tell you, I mean, like the amount of work, I mean, like it's the work is much easier, and much bigger rewards. You know, it's like, uh, you know, uh, I remember Donald Trump saying this, you know, uh, he was like, you're going to put in as much work, you know, trying to buy a little house and flipping it, maybe even work harder because you're going to, you have to fix it up, right? You have to like do all this extra work versus, you know, building a skyscraper, you know, and you're going to make a thousand times the money, you know, and that's what, you know, one thing, if you take, take away one thing from today, I mean, if you haven't tapped into media buys, you definitely you know, want to play around with it, you know, start doing it and, you know, get into it because, I mean, it totally, you know, changed our life. And, I mean, Facebook, I mean, that's the other thing. I mean, you know, I mean, you have so many, you know, people come to us and, you know, Facebook ban their account or, you know, they can't get their ads approved. There's so much traffic out there besides Google and Facebook, you know. I mean, there's billions and billions of impressions available on a monthly basis. And you want to be able to have, you know, a portfolio. I mean, we still get traffic from Facebook. We still get traffic from Google Display. But 
you know, it's a small percentage of our traffic of our portfolio. You know, you want to be able to be open to, you know, tap into all the ways, you know, all the different media sources, you know, for traffic. And that depend on one person or one company that can, you know, end up, you know, shutting you down and then, you know, you're, you're stuck, you know. So, you know, you must, learn, you know, you got to control your own traffic if you're going to grow your own business, if you're going to grow your business. So are you guys ready? All right. So here's the secret to have made our campaigns a success. And again, take a pencil. We're going to give you a few minutes. Get a paper and write down some of these things that have made our campaign successful. And when, and when you're done going through all of these, I want you to take them and hang them up somewhere in your office and really study them and look at them and see how not only can you apply it to your online advertising but to your overall success. So biggest mistake number one, reinventing the wheel. Now I can't, you know, stress this enough. I mean, I get so many people that come to me and like, hey, Carlos, you know, I'm doing my first media buy, you know, check out my ads. And I'm like, all right, have you, have you done any research? You know, what's working in your market? And they're like, no, I mean, they're starting to, you know, make new ads, you know, from scratch. And I mean, that's like fighting an uphill battle. I mean, one of the biggest secrets we learn, I mean, it's like, it's all about research. You definitely want to model what's already working because there's no need to reinvent the wheel, you know, uh, especially with the Internet. I mean, with the Internet, you can figure out, you can see what ads are working, where people are getting the traffic from, you know, and all you got to do is put those pieces of the puzzle together and create a better campaign, you know, create an ad that gets a higher response rate, and then you're able to take over all that traffic, you know, in that market. So traffic law number one is model success. You know, model what's already working. And I think this applies to everything. I mean, it doesn't just apply, you know, to, to what we're talking here today. But, I mean, if you want to, like, you know, if you want to have success, you know, you need to model what's already working. Somebody that's already, you know, doing that, you know. And that's, you know, that's the key. I mean, you know, just like when we learned, you know, media buys and traffic, you know, like we studied and we learned from people already doing it. And, I mean, that's exactly, you know, what you want to do. Here's a perfect example. Uh, you know, uh, Lupe um, told me, you know, a few months ago that she was taking the kids to see the, you know, the Lion King movie. And I'm like, oh, cool, they have a new movie? And like, no, it's the same movie, except it's in 3D. Same exact movie. I mean, the only thing they did is convert it to 3D, and it opened at the number one spot. And not only that, it's, it's had the, the most amount, it's made the most amount of revenue than any movie that Disney has put out there, the Lion King, you know, 3D. Crazy. Same exact movie. Again, you know, just modeling success. It's already proven, you know, so just, you know, why reinvent the wheel? And, I mean, mark my words, you're going to see a lot more, you know, 3D movies, you know, coming up. <laughs> Carlos always says, mark my words, there's more 3D movies coming up. Well, I have some news for you, buddy. In a couple of weeks, I'm going to be going to see the Titanic 3D. <laughs> so here's an example of how we've just modeled success. So you look at this ad here, and it's pretty much an ad that, you know, has a couple of images on the left, and it's different ones. See, so you have the one with mortgage, and then the second one, third one at the bottom. So let me, let me just, let me just right, share something ahead. really quick. Uh, yes, you want to I mean, share. Over the last 10 years, I think I have probably the largest swipe file when it comes to banner ads <laughs> online. I mean, over the last 10 years, literally, I've swiped all the top Internet ads. And, you know, I use tools like Nielsen Net Ratings uh, where I've paid, I mean, $25,000 a year just to get access to this information where I can see the top ads and, you know, what ads are getting, you know, the most impressions, what ads are getting the most clicks. Now, these are ads that are getting, you know, billions of impressions and millions and millions of clicks. And whenever I start a campaign, this is one of my biggest secrets. I pretty much go to my swipe file, look at what ads, and get ideas. I'm like, all right, cool. Let's make an ad, you know, modeling this proven ad, you know. And that's how we've been able to, like, create, you know, winning ads every single time, you know, for our campaigns. So let me show you this example. So this is, you know, one ad that's gotten, you know, billions of impressions and millions of clicks. And let me show you, you know, the ad we created. You know, uh, I just wanted to add to the swipe file that Carlos has. Um, I have it in the will that if uh, Carlos, you know, has an accident, we make sure that I get the 
hard drive. I don't want the money. I want the hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> that was just funny, I thought. <laughs> so here's an ad. You know, basically, we modeled you know, that ad we saw previously on the screen. And boom, look at the results. You know, we've generated you know, close to a million clicks at 10 cents a click. Now, this is for diet traffic. You know, this is the same traffic that goes on Google anywhere from five to ten dollars a click. You know, and that's the power of media buys. You know, and plus, I would never be able to get a million clicks, you know, from Google for diet traffic. You know what I mean? So that's the power of media buys. You know, you get the ads right, and you know, you can just get you know massive amounts of traffic. And if you look at the spend and revenue. You know, again, we spent seventy thousand. It's made back, you know, two hundred fourteen thousand. So you know, we pretty much almost tripled our money here. You know, you know. So I mean, if you're tripling your money, I mean, if you're spending a grand and you're making three grand, you know, it's a no-brainer. I mean, and think about this. This is the power of media buys. And you know, and I always say this. I mean, all it takes is one campaign for you to make a million dollars a year profit. And all you have to do to make that happen is create an ad. That makes you three thousand dollars a day profit, because three thousand dollars a day profit times three hundred sixty-five days a year, three hundred sixty-five days in a year, that's a million bucks a year in profit, you know, and that's the power of media buys. And again, I just wanted to show you guys the importance. You know, the click-through rate is high. The spend is at 70, you made 214. I mean, all the numbers fall in line, and you're only talking about 10 cents per click as opposed to the $9 that we were looking at previously. So it's a no brainer, and here you have it again the same type of traffic. This is how much people are paying for it. And again, you're not getting the same number of clicks or impressions that you could be getting with Media Buys. So, biggest mistake number two using pretty professional designs you know everybody that we've talked to that you know wants us to look at their ads or wants us to give them some advice on their ads they always come to us with ads that are like it up here they always come with an ad that they their designer you know they they paid a designer like whatever a thousand two thousand bucks to crank out a beautiful campaign nice little colors put together great taglines and yeah, that's all great and dandy. But did you, you know, did you uh, see what the competition was using? Did you figure out are these going to work? Did you do any study on what copy is working? The bottom line is, pretty is not what's going to sell. And I think this is the biggest challenge we have had is whenever we hire you know new designers, their mindset is to make things look pretty. I mean, that's what they're that's what they're doing, you know. And but I mean, pretty doesn't sell, you know. Um, it's you know it's actually the ads that are you know go back go go back to screen. I just want to show this really quick because I mean this is like one of the strategies you know we've seen. Um, if you look at this ad, I mean it doesn't even look like an ad, right? It looks like content. It looks like uh, when you look at a website, it looks like it's part of the web page, and that's one of you know one of the strategies we've used where it gets you know really high click through rates. This type of ad will get us you know one percent click through rate and clicks, you know. For pennies per click, this other type of ad, which everybody else is using, your competition is using, and ninety-nine percent of people that are doing display advertising are using, are the ads that are going to get the average click-through rate. You know, the point zero two percent. You know, two clicks out of every thousand. And the most important thing you have to think about, if you look at these ads on the top left here, I mean, people are so used to these. They they see right here. It says three thousand ads every single day. One person is hit with ads. Uh, day on a daily basis and it's just like outrageous so they're already immune to it you know they don't see anything different it doesn't catch their eye it's like okay another ad and I'm not looking for that at the moment so your job is a big one it's a big one to take their eyes or their minds away from what's in what is in their busy day and just get them to react to what you have to share with them exactly so better blindness you know, I think this is like the biggest thing, you know, uh, people, you know, complain about with display advertising and like, oh, you know, people ignore ads and banner ads get, have really low click-through rates. That's true, you know, but guess what? You know, we leverage that because we're able to create ads that get five, ten times the average click-through rate. You know, we're paying for the traffic based on the average click-through rate. 
So I mean that traffic may be going for like a dollar CPM because you know uh, it gets you know an average of you know uh, x amount of clicks and the average cost per click is you know fifty cents to a dollar, right? But if you're able to create ads, they get five to ten times the average click through rate. That's how we're able to get you know traffic for pennies per click when the competition is paying dollars per click. So banner blindness is your friend. You know you want to use that to your advantage. You know, when everybody's complaining about banner blindness, we're like, yeah, keep the banner blindness because because of that, we're that's how we're able to you know manipulate the marketplace and go out there and get you know traffic for dirt cheap. So I just want to make sure everybody understands that because that's so so important. I sometimes forget what banner blindness is. I mean, that's exactly what we were talking about in the previous screen, where people are just people are not you know with banner ads, people are not looking for your product, right? You know, it's not like someone's, okay, let me see what banner ad pops up today, right? They're surfing the web, they're checking their email, they're doing a status update, right? They're reading an article. They're not looking for your ad. So you need to interrupt them, which we'll be covering here in a second. You need to interrupt that user from whatever they're doing to look at your ad, get them interested, and get them to click. And that's, you know, the, the science with this. You know, it's, take a look almost 10 times the average, you know, CTR. So let me show you guys exactly how we do this. So traffic law number two, interrupt them. You want to interrupt that user from whatever they're doing. So make sure you're, you're using this pink zebra. You have to stand out from the rest of the ad. So while the user's there, you know, drinking their coffee, working at the office, and looking at the ads that get bombarded at them, 3,000 ads in a single day, you better be the pink zebra. Exactly. I mean, so let's say you were looking at the scene, or okay, just average zebra is no big deal. But if you saw a pink zebra, you're going to be like, what? You're going to do a double take, right? You know, look, what the heck? What is that? I've never seen that. That's exactly the reaction you want to create with your banner ads. You know, you want people to, you know, do a, you know, say, what? what is that? And then, you know, get them to read your ad copy. So most important, interrupt the user. So please write that down. Have it there. Interrupt the viewers. So here's the secret to million dollar ads. The part of the brain that just wants that, needs that, and is all energized for ads. The brokers area. No, I mean there's industries that have made billions and billions of dollars. You know, with this, there's a certain part of our brain called the brokers area that gets stimulated with anything that's abnormal. You know, that's why we're attracted to, to violence, to horror movies, right, to action movies. Not even attracted to it, but it's how the industry of horror movies, what used to be scary today is not scary anymore. You know what I mean? So now when we look at a, a movie that we used to be extremely frightened of, we start laughing. I couldn't believe I was scared of that. But it's not because you're not scared of it. It's just because your brokers areas has just been stimulated so much it just keeps ex like expanding its stimulation and just eager and desire and want for more stimulation. I mean and this is like human nature it's been in us you know since forever I mean like the gladiators you know back in the Roman days right they filled coliseums to stimulate you know the brokers area right because everybody's attracted to like that suspense that violence right like and I mean Quentin Tarantino is a master at this if you've ever seen his movies He's a master at stimulating the broker's area. And that's what you want to do. You know, you want to stimulate the broker's area. You want people to say, what? What is that? Look at your ad. That's, that's ad, no, you know, the number one, the number one thing. You know, I think, you know, people, you know, forget about, you know, banner ads and banner blindness. The number one thing, you want to write this down, is you want to grab people's attention, right? Because, I mean, it doesn't matter how great your copy is or how great your benefits. If nobody even sees your ad, you, you know, you've lost the game. So number one is you need to grab their attention. You know, you need to stimulate, you know, the brokers are, you need to like interrupt them. And then we'll cover the next step. So here's some examples of some ads, you know, that are interrupt them. You know, it's like if you were to see some of these ads, you're like, what, what's going on? You know, the guys with the happy faces. Uh, this ad below here with the wrinkle cream, this wrinkle, that ad has made millions and millions of dollars. I mean, that ad right there alone has created a company that, you know, has, has 
hundreds of millions of dollars a year in sales, one ad alone, right? And that's the power of you know creating your one ad. You know, all it takes is one ad to make. What What is the exact? What's the number that uh, this ad has generated? That that company does over a hundred million dollars a year in sales. Yeah, so over a hundred million dollars in sales for this ad right here, and it doesn't look like much, but it just interrupts the consumer. I think it slides from side to side, right? Yeah, so you can see I mean like that crazy wrinkle face right there, like grabs your attention. You're like, what the? What is that? Right? And now you read the copy, lose wrinkles in only minutes. Try it today. Okay, you grab. Their attention, and now you're going to click through, right? Uh, this other ad right here by True, True's another company that does a really good job. The ad actually animates the girl's like moving around. She looks like she's typing to you, you know. So you know it, it grabs attention, you know, and it gets you know a good response. Rate. Absolutely, it also has a little blinking cursor here that makes you want to type into it. So the minute you want to do that, it just makes you click through. So biggest mistake number three, using copy that sucks. And I think this is so crucial, so important, because after you've done a good job of interrupting them, you need great copy. You need copy that's going to you know, uh, get people to click through. Now, this is another big mistake I see. You want to write this down. You want to sell the click, not the product. I think you know one, one of the big mistakes marketers make is once they see the power of like testing headlines and how we can make such a big difference, you know, they start trying to cram in so much into the little banner, you know? The only job of the banner is to generate the click, not to sell your product, you know? So, and Lupa, you have a great analogy, we know, with the store. And you want to explain that? Because I think that's like the, the best way to explain I almost didn't want to because I wasn't thinking of it, but yes, I can explain that. I was just, the way that this works for me is, the banner's job is to just suck people into your store. So if you have a storefront and you want people to come in, and the best way is, I don't know if a lot of you have been to the, any of the malls in America, and for those of us who are familiar with malls, it's those people that come over with a little toothpick and a piece of meat, and they almost want to shove it in your face. I mean, you're walking doing nothing. You're walking and you know going about your business, but they sure make the point to put it right up in your face and say, you know, do you want some chicken? And, you know, you can't really say no. You put it in your mouth, you eat it, and next thing you know, you're buying their meal. Why? Because they lured you in with a piece of chicken, and that's what the uh, banners have to do. They just have to lure those customers in, and then, you know, the sale happens then. And, I mean, if you've ever seen those guys, too, on the road, you know, with the signs, you know, come into the store, right? That's the job of the banner, you know, to get people into the store. Once you got them in the store on your website or landing page, you know, wherever you're sending that traffic, then it's the job of that page to convert that visitor into a sale. You know, so the number one thing is sell the click, not the product. Make sure you write that down. So the big problem with copy is, you know, to hire the big guns, you know, the copywriters, and we've done it. You know, all of them want, you know, ten to twenty-five thousand dollars, at least the good copywriters, you know, the really good copywriters. Plus, they want a percentage, you know, of royalties, right? And uh, you know, that adds up to you know to a lot of money. Is it worth it? For sure. I mean, we've done it, we've done it, you know, uh, many years, especially in the beginning. And the I mean, copy is everything. I mean, copy is key, you know, the copy is what's gonna get people to, you know, click on your ad and once you got them in, you know, get them to buy the product, you know. Copy is a whole different thing on its own. It's a whole different monster. You have to, it's a whole science to it. It's psychology. It's what words to use, how to say it, you know, what triggers people's emotions. So copy, is it worth the 25000 like Carlos said? Most definitely. So if you need to write good ads, don't just expect that whatever ad you're going to write is going to be the one that's going to be the winner because you need to have the perfect copy for it. So killer copy is a must. Traffic law number three. Without proven copy, you're on a suicide mission. I would actually have to tell you, if you're going to start any campaign, if you're going to do anything, and you still haven't gotten the right copy, then please don't even begin. Next biggest mistake people make, 
bringing a three-man army to a thousand-man war. And what do I mean by that? Easy. You know, we get people again that come to us and says, you know, look at our our banners. We're ready to rock and roll. I'm ready to buy some media. Okay, let me see how many banners you have. I have five banners. I have ten banners. And you know, and we and I'm like, oh, good. How long did it take you? Well, it took us about three weeks. You know, we we put them together. We wrote the copy, sent them back, get them redone, made a couple tweaks, and uh, you know, the fastest I heard somebody make them was like in two days and I was like well good for you in two days I'm, I'm happy for you but the reality is when you're driving so many impressions so many eyeballs to an ad it's gonna die out it's gonna eventually die out. it's like watching a rerun of an old TV sitcom I'm not gonna wanna watch that rerun over and over and over again and if I do am I gonna have the same reaction absolutely not so your ads are gonna most definitely run out so what you need to do is you need to make sure you have more than five, more than ten. If not, we usually do about a hundred. And right now we're in some of our campaigns we're up to, you know, numbers like a thousand and fifty-three. We're not, you know, we're not at the beginning stages of ad number one, ad number two. We're over the thousands of ads that we have tested with traffic and with a lot of our campaigns. So you're gonna need an army of designers. I know that I've had to manage our designers and we had anywhere from eight to ten designers you know a day working on one sole campaign so making sure that you don't come with a couple of banners that are definitely gonna die out and a lot of people you know what they do the sad thing is a lot of people that start off with media buys and start off in the industry what they do is they start off with your ten or even you know fifteen ads and none of them get any clicks none of them do anything and then they give up they just said, you know what, my campaign didn't work, I'm not going to go for it. Well, guess what? You just brought a couple of ads to what, something where you're going to need thousands and thousands of ads. I want to I emphasize this because I think I mean, this is like such an important step that you need to get right. You know, whenever we start a new campaign, I mean, we'll literally load in 100, 200, 300 different variations of the ad with different headlines, different interrupter images, different hooks. And at that point, you know, we're just identifying what is the market going to react to? What's the ads that are going to yield the highest click-through rates? And it's so, so important. I mean, you get this wrong, you're going to struggle. You're going to struggle so much. And I know because it's happened to us before, before we figure this out. And, you know, we're struggling and, you know, we can't get the campaign profitable. And it's all because we didn't do this one important step. And that one important step is finding the hook, finding the number one hook for your offer. You know, what's the one hook that's going to get the highest click through rate? Because once you get that right, everything else becomes easy. You know, because now you have a banner ad that's getting clicks, dirt cheap, boom. You know, if you're getting clicks for dirt cheap, it's a no-brainer. As long as your website is doing the job of converting, and even if your website isn't converting that great, if you're getting clicks for three cents, five cents, ten cents a click, right? You know, you're almost guaranteed to make money with that, you know, as long as the website is doing a decent job at converting it. But it all starts, you know, with the hook. And uh, we just, you know, we're at a conference and, uh, you know, some, one of the authors, you know, he's, he's, he's done like over a billion dollars a year in, uh, in book sales. And he says, you know what? It's like, it's all in the book title. You know, you get the book title right, and, you know, you'll have a hit. You know, you'll sell, you know, millions and millions of copies of the book. You get the book title wrong, it doesn't matter how great the content is, how great that book is, right? Nobody's going to buy it. And that's the same thing here, guys. You need to get your banner ad right, because that's the number one thing people are seeing before they even see your entire sales message, right? The first thing they're going to see is your banner ad. So that's why we load in, you know, hundreds of ads. In the beginning, we're just looking for which ads are getting the highest click-through rates. And then we narrow it down. You know, we'll narrow it down to maybe like the top 10 that have the highest click-through rate and have those compete. But it's so important that you do this in the beginning, you know, because this is literally, you know, how we've been able to crack campaigns that, you know, have generated, you know, millions of dollars in sales. So I just wanted to emphasize that, you know, because it's so, so important that you get this right. So if you haven't written it down, and I know we mentioned it before, you know, how to look at your numbers and, and data.
so that you make sure you're optimizing to the fullest. The biggest thing that you're doing when you're starting off your campaign, if you're not making a sale but you're getting a good click-through rate, then you're on the road to success. And if you did get a sale, then you better pat yourself on the back and say, I'm going to make money with this. This could be my million-dollar campaign. So traffic law number four is finding the winning hook, like Carlos just mentioned, making sure that out of those, all those ads, which one's going to be the one that's going to bring in the customers. It's like going out fishing. That's, I mean, that's like the perfect analogy. I mean, like, um, if you're going fishing, it's all about finding the right bait, the bait that all the, you know, once you find the right bait, then all the fish, you know, start biting on that bait, right? And that's exactly what you're doing here, you know. In the beginning, you're fishing, you're throwing out a bunch of different hooks and figuring out which one, you know, uh, is going to be the one they respond to, you know, which one is the one that gets the highest, you know, click to rate. And once you find it, the beauty is that there's oceans of massive amounts of traffic, you know, that you can go through. There's ad networks, there's sites that get tons of traffic where you can simply take your winning ads and then start getting, you know, a ton of traffic to your Absolutely. Campaign. It's just like finding the right bait that you need in order to go fishing. And again, with the Internet, now you're not selling locally. Now we're talking globally. Now you took that one hook and just threw the net over the entire world and you're going to catch everything and everyone you possibly can. So uh, if you ever seen the movie by, you know, by Forrest Gump, remember in the beginning how he was struggling to catch you know, shrimp? But then you know, once all the boats, there was a big thunderstorm, and all of a sudden <laughs> catching shrimp became easy, and he started catching you know, millions of shrimp. This is exactly what this is like. You know? That's how it is when you find your hook. Exactly. You know? Cool. So the beauty, I mean, and the power, you know, with banner ads is you can split test quickly. Um, you know, I know some people are split testing, and we used to split test a lot with pages, and we still do. But our main method of testing now is done with banner ads. The reason is, I mean, literally, we can put up, load up a bunch of banners with a bunch of different headlines and have our winning headline, you know, at the end of the day. You know, if you're doing that with pages, you know, since the amount of traffic and exposure that page is getting is drastically less, it's going to take a lot longer. You're going to move a lot slower. So this is how we've been able to move really fast and quickly optimize campaigns, you know, to get them profitable, you know, using MediaVice. So that's another, you know, thing you want to make sure you're doing. So biggest mistake number five is not using the right tools. And this is extremely, ex extremely important on the Internet. I think the Internet now depends more, depends more on tools than any other time because now we need to make sure that we're tracking how many customers came in, what did the customer do, did we sell him right, and you just want to make sure that you're using the right tools for that. Yeah, I mean, and I think I learned this early on in my career. I mean, back when I was a cable installer, um, you know, I, I noticed that uh, they were paying us by job. And when I was first training with the guy that was teaching me, I noticed that the biggest, the hardest part of the job was drilling a hole through the wall. It took like half an hour to drill a hole through the concrete. And that's what he would make me do as his helper. He would make me do that part when he was doing the easy part. And then I thought to myself, why don't I just go out there and buy the biggest, most powerful drill so I can drill these holes quickly? And that's exactly what I did. I went out there. I went to Home Depot. I got, I got the best drill. And boom, I started popping those holes, you know, in like three to five minutes, you know. And because of that, I became the number one installer. And since of that, I've been a big believer in always using the best tools for the job because it gives you such a huge competitive advantage. And like I mentioned, I mean, I use tools like Nielsen Net Ratings where, you know, I've, I've paid, you know, $25,000 a year just to get access to one of the top ads, you know, one of the traffic sources because it's so key and so crucial, you know. Um, I think, you know, the biggest thing I learned is to start thinking about it's not how much does it cost, but, you know, how much, you know, can it make me, you know. How much can I make? And, uh, I mean, this is a perfect example, you know, this image here, you know, we've showed this to our kids, you know. This is, you know, you, why do the work the, the hard way where you can do it, you know, the easy way? You can do it easier, you can do it a lot faster, and you can make, you know, a lot more money. 
So using the right tool for the right job, you know, is crucial. I mean, it's so important. So another thing, you know, I want to emphasize is making sure, you know, you're using a proven system. Uh, you know, one statistic that I read, you know, that I was kind of, you know, shocked with is that, you know, 95% of entrepreneurs only end up making $50,000 their entire career. That's crazy. 95% only end up making, you know, $50,000, less than $50,000 their entire career. And if you look at franchises, franchises have a 97% success rate. Why? Because it's a proven system, right? It's a proven system that already works and, you know, you just need to replicate, you know? And, I mean, that's so crucial in business. And I think that's the biggest thing that lacks, you know, with Internet marketing is people are just trying to figure out how to do it on their own and they're struggling. And when it all comes down to a system, I mean, everything in business is a system, you know? Once you get the systems right, you know, just like we showed you, testing the hook and finding the right hook, I mean, that alone, I mean, is so crucial. I mean, that'll make you, it could make or break your campaign. You can go years struggling with a campaign or years struggling trying to make money when it's so easy when you do it the right way. And again, earlier in the presentation, I said write this down and uh, go ahead and uh, take some of this information down and, and not only use it to towards media buying, but the success of your entire entrepreneurship. And the reason I mentioned that is because, you know, one of the biggest things that a lot of the franchises do is they have a system. So once you systemize your entire business, then your business doesn't rely on you. That means that now when you grow old and you die, your children and your grandchildren would have a business that they can, you know, live comfortable with because you've created a system of whatever it is you've been doing. So think about that, write it down, and remember that it's all in the systems and it's all in the tools you use. So traffic law number five, work smarter, not harder. Cool. So I want to you know, share with you, I'm really excited to show you guys this next part. Um, a good friend of mine, John, I actually met him about a year ago at a conference and we, you know, we became good friends and you know, we kept in touch on Skype. And he showed me, you know, this tool he created, uh, you know, that automates, you know, making uh, banners. And, you know, we started talking. I'm like, man, I think we can really put this thing on steroids if we take some of the learnings, you know, some of the top ads that I know, you know, uh, for my swipe file and some of the copy. Uh, so I'm excited to show you guys, you know, this, uh, this really powerful tool. I think it's like the best tool out there when it comes, you know, to media buys. And, I mean, I own all the top tools, so I'm excited for you guys to see this. John, are you there? Yeah, I am. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, let, me, uh, let me show my screen real quick. Um, let me see if you guys can make sure you can see that. Is it showing up yet? Yeah, we can see it. Okay, great. Uh, well, welcome everybody. Uh, again, my name is John Sugard, and uh, I've, like uh, Carlos was saying, we we actually met. Uh, well, it's been a little, little over a year ago, and got to be good friends. And um, I had been developing some software uh, that is called uh, the Rockstar Power Suite, and it's uh, I actually built it for me. Uh, originally, which was to, you know, help me with all the stuff that uh, that we like to do, um, and I was showing Carlos, uh, and he was like, "Man, let's let's integrate it." So what we've got, uh, I've kind of started in a spot that uh, is already a an existing uh, project, and I'll I'll kind of back, you know, sort of walk us back through that here in just a second. But what I want to show you is. As Carlos was mentioning, one of the hardest things, you know, that or the one of the things that people don't do is they don't use, you know, proven uh, ads and they don't use, uh, uh, you know, split testing enough. And so what we've got here, as you can see, we've got already proven 
uh, add templates for you. So let me kind of show you one here as an example. Um, so and they come in all different sizes uh, that you know that you'll want to test to start with, uh, especially the three three main sizes on these. Uh, and so what you can do is you simply can use the software, come in here, pick a design that you want to you know to start with because uh, you're already working from a baseline of proven designs that uh, get high click-through rates. Um, and you simply pick a design, you say next. Uh, you've got the the sizes that you'll want to uh, you know run on your campaign. Uh, everything is wi it's a little wizard base. Uh, you're going to click the next button anytime you want to move to a different screen. This is uh, you can change the border color, change the background color. You have a couple of options here. Change the output format. Um, the cool thing is we do uh, static images, so you can do GIF, uh, JPEG, or PNG. We do animated GIFs and we do flash, uh, so you have all kinds of choices. However, when it comes down to it, it you know, like Carlos said, one of the big keys is is actually copy, and so you can test different uh, headlines, you can test different body copies and different calls to action um, simply by selecting the field, and then you know, let's put put something like. Uh, uh, you know, do wrinkle creams work? So we're gonna uh, have a headline. You know, do wrinkle creams work? We're gonna change this body copy to, um, you know, you may be shocked. Actually, let's say something like scientists inve investigate. You may be shocked. Uh, we've got watch video, which is fine for the call to action. We'll change this to uh, something like, you know, wrinklefree.com or something. And so now uh, I just click the next button, and what what you'll see is uh, if we were to look at this preview, we've actually got an ad in each size that has been updated with the text that we want. Okay. Now. If you look at this, you'll see that we've got this big pill here, <laughs> which, which, does, which really doesn't match wrinkle creams too good. And this is one of the coolest things in Atomatic. Um, we, we've, we've got this button here called Atomatic Images. And when we click it, we already have uh, basically loaded different thumbnails uh, of, of all the images that you could potentially use that are proven and, and Carlos you may want to talk a little bit about this um, yeah so basically guys what we've done here um, we've loaded on the top images that get you know high click through rates to get the ads to get high click through rates like for example we know anatomy images you know get high click through rates uh, and there's you know we got a bunch of different categories here so basically you know we've taken you know my swipe file and you know the thousands of ads we've tested for the last 10 years and loaded you know the top uh, interrupter images you know that are gonna you know make the ads you know get a high click through rate no, absolutely um, so you can just simply pick a category on the left hand side we've kind of identified tried to identify the uh, a category for you um, you know, you've got doctor images and all kinds. Uh, in this case, we were talking about scientists, so we're going to go to the scientist category. Um, you, you know, you've got all kinds of uh, eye-catching designs. But when you when you find one that you like, you simply uh, click it one time. It loads it into an image editor. In this case, we don't really have to do anything, so I, I say save image. Um, we'll focus on her eyes there but uh, we won't really have to do anything because the aspect ratio is pretty pretty accurate um, and then that's it so now we've actually replaced the uh, the little diet pill and if I click next you'll see uh, you know right here that we've replaced it with the lady scientist okay so now we got do wrinkles do wrinkle creams work scientists investigate you may be shocked you know, watch a video at wrinklefree.com, and that was it. We took what was a, sort of a diet pill related uh, template, 
and we changed it into uh, something that we would want to use. Okay, and that's how easy it is. However, it's um, it gets even better than that because, kind of like Carlos and Lupe had said, you you know you don't want to uh, bring three men to a thousand uh, man war. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to actually split test. And so all you have to do is click clone, and you'll get an exact replica of your first set. And now you can go in and click the edit button and create your split test variation. And this is where I think uh, Carlos gets even more excited uh, at the, with this feature because what we've done is remember how uh, you know he talked about copy being really probably one of the most crucial elements of your ad. Well, we actually have something built in called the automatic text. Okay. And so instead of scientists investigate, you may be shocked, we can actually click this automatic text and we've got headlines, we've got body copy, and we've got calls to action. And, and so, Carlos, I know you, you probably... I mean, yeah, I guess, this yeah is your guys, basically what we've done is, this is the same exact process I go through whenever I'm launching a new campaign. You know, I look at my swipe file, I look at, okay, what ad templates can I use uh, for my new campaign, you know, and even if it's in a different vertical, like I showed you earlier, you know, I'm like, okay, this is proven, let's use this, and then I go through my uh, copy swipe file that I've built, you know, of all the top headlines, all the top body copy, top call to action, and I just start putting together different variations of ads, and doing it this way, this is how I've been able to create ads that get, you know, crazy response rates and you know been able to go out there and get you know tons of traffic going through this exact process that you know we've automated here now with this software which is you know so cool because I mean I can't tell you how long it used to take to get these ads created especially when we wanted you know different variations and working with designers you know just to get the ads right so we you know pretty much you know streamline the whole process and you know I was super excited because I mean this has just put automated everything on our on our end as far as you know creating ads and cranking out ads and quickly you know split testing different variations, um, you know so it you know pretty much puts everything on steroids. Yeah, so when you're ready and you find something that you like, uh, you simply you know select it, you hit insert, and then there'll be a place with uh, you know the four X's that. That's what you want to replace with, you know, whatever you want. So straight talk about, you know, in this case, we'll just say straight talk about wrinkles, okay? Um, and then when I hit OK, it's going to regenerate those images for me, and you'll see here. Uh, if we were to do a quick preview, um, you know, we've got straight talk about wrinkles, straight talk about wrinkles, straight talk about wrinkles. So um, that is. How, you know how you can generate multiple variations and split tests. However, we're not done. Um, there's a couple other things that we really, I really want to show. You know, number one, we can generate as many copies uh, that we need to. Uh, you know, so that's that, a great feature. Just because, again, you know, you want to be able to create as many ads as possible. You know, not just five or ten. So I really love that feature. No, absolutely. So let's just let me show you how we can go in here. We can come back to the image fields and let's say we you know in this case we're just 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 kind of demonstrate we're going to replace this image because I do want to show a couple of a uh, couple of cool features that you can do with the images. Uh, let me do shocked here. All right, thing number one, I'm going to pick her and and there's a reason. Um, I want to kind of demonstrate. If you'll notice that her eyes, she's kind of looking over here to the left or my left, and and every image is sort of on the left of the screen or left of the image. So, if if we're really looking at her, she's going to be looking outside of our ad, and that is going to draw people's eyes away from our ad, which is not what we want. So, if we were going to use this image, you know, typically you'd probably just go and find another image, or you'd have to open up an image editor or whatever. 
But for us to use this, all we need to do is just say flip horizontal. And so now she's going to be looking inside the ad. So I can say save image here. I kind of focus on her face. Uh, just set my auto cropping uh, setting there. And now when I say OK, it's going to regenerate that image. Uh, and you can see that you know now she's actually looking inside the uh, inside the ad okay and almost at the headline in some of the some of the spots here so it's going to draw your eyes straight to that headline uh, so that's a I mean we have a full image editing capability and let me show you one other uh, quick feature uh, to make your life really easy we can clone the set we can come in here and say image I'm gonna replace the image again uh, we're going to go down to shocked here. Now let's say I wanted to use this image. Okay, the problem is, you know, I, I really need a white background or or a transparent background, and this one has sort of this blue background. So what we've got again, I told you this was a uh, uh, an image editor. We have this easy eraser, and you simply click the easy eraser. You hover over the color that you want to erase. And you simply, uh, you know, drag it until you can see all the checkers in the areas that you want to be clear. Okay, so now we've kind of erased all that color. We've got a little spot of it up here as well that we can erase. All right, so now if I save this image, kind of focus on our eyes, you'll, we don't have any problems. Okay, now it's got a white background or a transparent background, um, and it's going to fit, you know, into our ad much much better okay um, so those are some of the features you know real quickly uh, the other thing that from an organization standpoint everything is built in projects uh, so once you find like a winning set of ads here uh, and it's time to let's say you were testing your headlines and now you want to test maybe body copy you simply add a new project Let's, we'll give it this a name like automatic uh, body copy test. All right, say next. And again, I told you that we support GIF, PNG, JPEG, anime GIF, and Flash. So we have you know we have creative sets and all all of those types. All right, but I'm gonna say next. And instead of having to create new ads, I simply come in here and I pick. Let's just say this was the winner. I can pick those. I can copy them and I can take them into my new project and paste them and then in here I can come in and I can start the clone process and and work from that baseline setting and, and using new copy from here so every time I find a winner I can start and, and create a new project uh, and, and start tracking things that way I also can do uh, stats if you look here we've got a you know project description field so every time you make a change or anytime you want to take notes of stats or anything like that you can just put you know put your text in here and put a date uh, and then it'll save it for you along the way um, so that is um, I mean that's pretty much it I think for the demo side uh, unless I'm missing something Did I miss anything Carlos or no that, that looks awesome so I mean, guys, basically we've taken you know the most complicated process of media buys and automated it because now the tool creates the ads for you, you know, it spits out you know the winning copy variations that you can test, you know, you're proven interrupter images, and boom, you know, you can create different variations of ads, you know, with the click of a few buttons as you, as you just saw, you know, just pretty much automates you know the whole you know media buying you know process to create you know. Uh, winning ads for your campaign, and uh, not only that, I mean, um, like I said, I mean, like the biggest struggle we had with is working, you know, with designers and you know the speed of you know getting our ads quickly, especially when a media buy is live. And not only that, I mean, the pricing. I mean, you know, we've saved you know so much money, you know, just using this tool. Uh, I just want to show a quick example. Could you uh, pull yeah, up? Yeah, uh, pull that up real quick. Yeah, twenty dollar banners. Yeah. So I mean, let's say we need it. You know, we're, let's say we're launching a new campaign and we want to do it right, and we want to test, you know, hundred different banners. And uh, you know, you're gonna want to, and not, not only that, but you're gonna want to test in the different ad sizes. You know, the top three sizes are the 300 by 250s, 728s, and 160. 
And let's say we leave him right away, you know, because we're going live with our campaign or our campaign is live. We leave no variations of the ads. Just look at how much it would cost. It would cost $4,200 just to make 100 banners. And that's just one size. If we needed them in all three different sizes, you know, we're talking, you know, $10,000, you know, just to get, you know, those banner ads designed. Now, the problem, too, is, you know, most of the times, as I mentioned, when working with designers, it's a battle because they make the ads look pretty and they don't design them, you know, to get, you know, high response rates, you know. And, you know, we've tested all the different, you know, outsourcing firms and all kinds of designers and, you know, they've never been able to beat, you know, the proven, you know, creative sets that we go live with, you know, using that process I just walked you through, you know, modeling an ad that's already working, injecting it with killer copy, just tweaking that copy for your specific offer or product, and that's how we've been able to create, you know, winning ads. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, you're not going to get 99 ads in 24 hours, even if you... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, uh, so but, but yeah, absolutely. Um, that's a great, great point in terms of the cost. I mean, and that was part of, I mean, that was one of my big driving forces is, you know, how can we do this faster and cheaper um, and, and provide that, you know, for everyone else? Because I know that's a need. I mean, uh, so anyway, uh, if... I don't think there's anything else on the demo for right now. So if if you want, I'll uh, you guys can uh, take it back over and and uh, yeah, sounds good. Thanks, John. Yeah, no, no problem. By the way, the comments of uh, I appreciate the comments. Uh, this is very impressive. Wow, killer software. Um, so that's uh, we appreciate that. We put a yeah, lot. I was going away too, and you know when we saw this and we finally put this together, I'm like, man, this is so. Damn cool! This is awesome. Because I mean, basically, I mean, we made it easy for anyone to have success, you know, with MediaVice. Because the software pretty much does it all for you. You know, you go in there, you create your winning ads. You know, you use proven ad copy, proven interrupter images, and like I said, it's all in you know getting your banner ads right. You know, getting your banner ads that are going to get high click through rates. And this is the part that most people have struggled with. You know, and struggled to get right. And, you know, we've automated, you know, that whole process to make it really simple, you know, to, to do this, you know, and to do this business, to do media bus. You know, I, someone asked, can you add your own pictures? If you don't mind, I'll show them real quick. Because um, I knew, honestly, guys, we just really kind of touched the surface. But let me show you um, that if you want, like we have the proven images here, but you can, you can always... Um, you know, I'll show you a couple quick things. I mean, this maybe won't make a lot of sense for her, but mm -hmm. if you ever wanted to to just change the color or something of a picture, um, you can do that. Uh, you simply just come in here, and you know, you can make her an alien if you want. Um, <laughs> you know, and test out that. the uh, The other thing is, again, she can't you defend can herself. Also, John. What's that? I said she can't defend herself. The poor green monster. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you can also use your own images. So, uh, you know, if you have your own logo or anything like that, um, let's just say that, you know, you want to, whatever, I'm not even sure what I have in here. Uh, I have girls' faces. That could be dangerous. Um, <laughs> Go with the ones that come with a computer. Those are nice. Yeah. Uh, so we'll just do this nice penguin here. Um, you know, but you have image effects that you can put on this. Uh, you know, I don't even know. We'll just put a little a little glow around it. Uh, you can undo them, things like that. But yes, you can use your own images. Uh, that's not a problem. And then when you hit save, this is an auto crop feature, and this saves you a lot of time when you're dealing with most of these images. The aspect ratios are the same for like you know a lot of the the automatic temp, um, creative sets. But if you ever get in a situation where the, the aspect ratio is different, what we do is we have this auto crop feature that you can put an area of focus, and I'll show you kind of the, what the difference is. Let's say I want to make sure that this guy is always in the picture. If I set the crop style to zooming, it's going to get as much of this picture zoomed in on him as I can. All right. So when we say save, you'll see that basically everybody else got replaced. Um, the difference here, we come back. And I say, uh, you know, save image, 
you know, I wanted to focus on him and I did zooming, it would basically get him. However, look at the difference here. If I say, give me this guy and do moving, um, you'll see that I get a lot more of the picture, but the aspect ratio stays the same. So it gets as much of it as it can without skewing it. Okay, so you have a zooming effect or you have a, um, you know, what, what we call just getting as much of it. It's a moving effect, I guess is really what we call it. But um, And then there's one more that gives you the whole thing. So it skews it if it, if it does. But anyway, someone asked, uh, and I'm sorry uh, to do that, but um, someone asked if you could do your own images. And I just wanted, you know, everyone to see that, you know, you can. You can, you can always do your own uh you know, replace your own images or anything. Absolutely, you do want to know that because it, when you're done finding the, a winning image or an interrupter image, then you want to keep on finding one that works better and just increasing those numbers and just turns into a little game. So definitely. Yeah, absolutely. So that is, um, that's it. Let me turn it back over to you guys. But I saw that come up, so I thought I'd awesome. demo it real quick. Uh, can you take the presenter or? So Lupe, is it your screen? I'll make it is. It okay. Did it did it ask you there? It's not asking me just yet. Hmm. Okay. There it goes. Actually, it's there. It goes again. All right, there we go. So how cool was that, guys? You know, I was blown away when I saw that. I'm like, man, this just is going to put all our media buying in steroids, and it has. I mean, because now, I mean, you know, we don't have to worry about the whole long process of going through copywriters and designers. I mean, we quickly crank out ads and can quickly generate, you know, as many variations as we want you know, for split testing, you know, with our media bias. Not only that, but out of all the top mistakes that we've ever made along our life and discovered things and how to, you know, how to tweak them and, and how to do things right, we pretty much knocked out everything with the automatic software. And thanks for us, you know, getting together with John, we've just created this awesome thing which helps you, number one, you don't have to reinvent the wheel, which is one of the mistakes interrupt your images you know one of the other things you want to do is always interrupt the consumer we have galore of images that you can choose from um, the copy I mean Carlos's swipe file is worth you know it's just priceless so it's the copy is really great and finding the hook I love the way that this the whole thing organizes you know you did the demo right now and you said automatic body copy and so on so finding the hook is really easy and pretty much it's just overall a great tool. All right, so with the automatic uh, system, you basically are able to create unlimited banners. So that alone is going to save you, you know, a ton of money. Um, you know, we had one person that, you know, um, signed up when we first released it and uh, the first day they said, you know, they did some banners for a client and were able to, <laughs> you know, make their money back in the first day, you know, just because instantly they were able to create money. Not only that, but if you look at the 997 value for it on creating unlimited banners, yeah. we just saw the comparison of the $4,000 that you have to pay anywhere else. And the more powerful thing is it increases your conversions because, you know, you're using Proven creative sets, proven ad copy, proven interrupter images. Exactly. You know that your click-through rates are going to be, you know, high, and you know that some of those are going to be some of the winning hooks that are going to make you the sales. We're also going to include advanced training videos on, you know, media buying, because I know some people are just getting started with media buys, or even if you are, you know, we got some ninja tactics on there on, you know, how we've been able to generate the crazy amount of traffic we've been able to generate. And we're going to include, you know, step-by-step uh, -step, uh, training videos. Uh, people that have come to our seminars have paid anywhere from ten to twenty-five thousand dollars. We haven't done a seminar in a while, and uh, I mean, just because we're too busy, you know, buying media lights on our own. But uh, what we've done is, you know, created some step-by-step -step videos uh, to get you started. So once you create your banner ads, you'll know exactly how to go out there, load them up, and you know, start driving traffic to to your campaign. 
the proven creative sets, I mean, you're going to get all types of size of creative uh, designs for your for you to use. So it's proven, you know, creative sets that are proven to generate, you know, billions of impressions and millions of clicks, where you simply plug in your own products or any offers you're promoting, you know, to create your winning ads. And the beauty of it is that you can just plug in your uh, any of your products and you can go ahead and use those. The split testing on steroids machine, I mean, you saw that. It's the clone feature. All you have to do in an instant is just go ahead and take that and start split testing. Generate them on the fly. Give it a new headline. Give it a new body copy, a new call to action, a new interrupt your image. And you don't have to wait weeks on end for a designer or a copywriter to write that. So it allows you to identify your winning hook quickly. Which is the most important thing. So you can you know, create a winning campaign. And find your winning ad so you can explode your traffic. As we mentioned, as you saw, we've loaded, you know, tons of proven interrupter images. In fact, there's over 1,500 proven interrupter images. That we've loaded. tested and that they've just been working. And there's different reasons why those work. So over 1,500 interrupter images at your fingertips. These are images that are proven to get high click-through rates. And it allows you to get traffic, you know, a lot cheaper because, as you know, you know, getting a high click through rate is key, so you can get that traffic a lot cheaper. And even if you're paying for traffic on a CPC basis, it allows you to get a lot more traffic because your effective CPM is going to be higher, and you know, you'll be able to get a lot more traffic than your competitors. And my very best favorite is the automatic copy machine. I mean, if Carlos decides he doesn't want to come to work or he's going to hang out with his buddy for the day, I don't need to worry about it because I'm just going to take what he's written and just turn it into some type of copy that I can test and quickly get a new winner or, you know, decide if I have a new headline. So this really puts it on steroids because, you know, you're using proven ad copy that has worked, you know, across different campaigns where you can simply plug in your own products and it saves you thousands, you know, on expensive copywriters. I mean, you no longer need copywriters, you no longer need designers. You know, the software pretty much does it all for you. And not even the best copywriters can outperform perform you know, automatic copy machine. And we tested that, you know, like we've had some of the top copywriters uh, go against, you know, some of the ads uh, that we've generated with this and the ad that uh, from uh, automatic always end up winning just because why? They're being, you know, done with proven ad copy, you know? So the complete package, you're going to get the powerful automatic software that allows you to create unlimited banners, the training videos that will take you step by step on, you know, on media buying, Proven creative sets that are proven to generate millions of clicks. The split test machine that allows you to create as many different variations and test your different headlines. Body copy, cuts of action. That'll help you wind that, find that winning hook. The proven interrupter images that has allowed us to get you know traffic for pennies instead of dollars. The automatic copy machine, you know, where it saves thousands on copywriters. Total value of what you're getting here. Is seventeen thousand eight hundred eighty-eight dollars. Now, let me ask you this question: If all Automatic did is create one winning ad that allowed you to go out there and get massive amounts of traffic, would it be worth the investment? Absolutely. If all Automatic did was prescribe a new split test that increased your response rate, you know, would that be worth the investment? Absolutely. If all, in, if all Automatic did is allow you to create some ads and allow you to get traffic for pennies instead of dollars, would it be worth the investment? Absolutely. Now, you know, since this is the first version of the software, you know, we're looking for some uh, additional case studies. You know, we did a first run a few months ago, and we've had some great success. People were just, like, blown away. So we're looking, you know, for, to build some additional case studies before we take this uh, product, you know, mainstream. Uh, so, you know, for those of you that are interested in, you know, signing up today, we're going to offer a killer deal. You're not going to pay $17,888. Today, you can get in for a one-time setup fee of $997 and just $97 a month. Killer price. I mean, we wanted to give, you know, 10 times, 100 times the value. I'm sure you can see that with what we put together here, you know, where this is really going to help you, you know, Leverage media buys, and if you are already leveraged media buys, you know, put your campaigns on steroids. Absolutely, and again, if you do do media buys or if you're doing any type of traffic, 
I just have to tell you, Carlos and I still attend seminars, you know, not regardless of us knowing what they're going to talk about or not talk about. But we still go there because if you find a golden nugget or if you remember something that you already knew but still haven't implemented, it'll make a world of difference to the bottom line. So here's how you get it. You go to getautomatic.com and go ahead and take advantage of the software. I totally recommend it. As you saw, the power of it, it's definitely going to give you a competitive advantage over your competition. I highly recommend it. I would have wished that they had Automatic when I first started. So I definitely recommend that you go out there and get it. The Media Buying 101 uh, uh, tactics that we share with you are awesome. Definitely recommend that. The whole program is uh, guaranteed. And I mean, a guarantee, I mean, we, we didn't really want to offer a guarantee because we know what the software does and we know the results. But, you know, uh, I know that, um, you know, uh, we have to do a guarantee. So what we decided to do is we have this 30-day crush it guarantee. So if the automatic ads do not crush your current controls, or you're unable to get traffic for pennies per click instead of dollars, just call us within 30 days for help, you know, because you may be doing something wrong. We'll show you, you know how to do it right. Or, you know, if you want a refund, no problem, you know, no questions asked. But, I mean, the software, I mean, pretty much uh, delivers, you know, results. How do I know? Because we've used it. we had other people use it. And, you know, they've, you know, the, the software speaks for itself. You'll see it, you know, when you try it. As a matter of fact, in regards to that, you know, somebody said, you know, we have the goods. It's just a matter of you taking it. Instead of me giving you a guarantee, I'd like for you to guarantee that you're going to implement and take action. So it's decision time. And what road are you going to take? This is where you need to make a decision because automatic is not only giving you proven ads, it's actually changing your life. It's changing your life from whatever your income may be now to an increase in your income and living that life that you know you want to live. So do you do nothing or do you take action? And this is what you have to do. So go to Get Automatic now and go ahead and get your personal copy of the software. So we're going to do some fast mover bonuses for the first 10 people that take action today. Um, let's go ahead and uh, check those out. So the first fast mover bonus is the top 21 response boosters. Now, whenever I launch a new campaign, I've made a list of like the top 21 things that have made the biggest difference. And I mean, these things have like double, triple, you know, conversion rates uh, whenever I do a split test. And this is, a, you know, 10 years of media buying, over $100 million in media buying, thousands of split tests. And this is my own personal, you know, swipe file of the top 21 things, you know, that I found that make the biggest difference, you know, in increasing conversion rates. Lupe feels that we should not give these away. <laughs> and I kind of agree. I mean, this thing is golden. Um, so, I mean, if you're one of the fast movers today, uh, you're going to get a copy of the top, you know, 21 response boosters. I mean, these are truly our secret weapon when it comes to media buys and increasing response rates. So, I mean, if you are one of the lucky few that, uh, you know, take action first, you're going to get a copy of these. And the most infamous secret list of traffic sources. I know everybody's always asking, where can I go get traffic? What are the top traffic places? So definitely you'll get a copy of the list of traffic sources. Those are the top traffic sources that I've tested, you know, and best places I've found to get traffic. Uh, and, you know, uh, you know, you'll get a copy of that as well. Fast forward bonus number three, the million dollar checklist. Now this is a checklist that I use myself whenever I'm launching a campaign to make sure that we create a winning campaign. And I mean, using this checklist is what's allowed me, you know, to create campaigns that have generated, you know, millions of dollars. And I know that, you know, sometimes it could seem complicated, but this, like, really simplifies everything because it just gives you step-by-step -step to make sure as long as you follow the checklist, you know, you'll have success. So the complete package, just to summarize again, you know, you get the automatic software that allows you to create unlimited banners, the media buying training videos, the proven creative sets that are proven to generate, you know, millions of clicks, split test machine to put your split testing on steroids, the proven interrupter images, the automatic copy machine that you know allows you to crank out winning copy instantly. And for the first 10 people that sign up today, you're going to get the top 21 response boosters, the million dollar traffic Rolodex, the secret list of traffic sources, 
and the million dollar traffic checklist to ensure you create a winning campaign. You know, $17,888 value today, only nine, a one time setup fee of $997 and $97 a month. So here's how to order. Go ahead and go to getadomatic.com right now and, you know, get, get in on this because uh, I think it's, uh, it'll change your life for sure. You know, it's done for us and I think it'll do the same for you. Now here, we're going to do one last offer today. Last time we made this and the people jumped out over it. We want to make sure that everybody takes advantage, you know. Uh, so for the, we're going to show you how you can get everything we just mentioned for free. So here's how you can get everything for free. Go ahead and sign up for Atomatic today. And we know that, you know, once you start using the software, you start, you're going to start getting killer results and people are going to want to know, you know, how you're doing it. Go ahead and refer those people over our way. You know, send us your success story. And, you know, once you send uh, at least three people that sign up, then we'll credit you back so you get yours absolutely free. Now, I know that, you know, you can probably just do a quick Facebook post or, you know, Twitter and, you know, get three people right there. So we've made it easy so that, you know, you can get uh, the entire software, you know, for free. So as promised, our gift to you, for those of you that stuck around, the Secrets to Mass Traffic Guide, you can get it at TrafficTactics.com forward slash TT. And again, here's how to order. Go to GetAdomatic.com. All right, so um, let's go ahead and open it up for um, any questions. Okay. Um, great. Uh, Here's here's one that's kind of sort of common um, that I'm seeing. Is this for beginners too? I guess is what they said. So you know, should someone that's just starting out get this that get this software and training? This is actually, in my eyes, perfect for beginners because the one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to try to figure out how to hire somebody to design a creative for you, or you don't want to figure out how to you know put a, an ad together or anything of that nature if you can have a tool that'll do it for you in the beginning then you have to have it and especially when I mentioned um, not bringing a three-man army to a thousand-man war you don't want to start off small you want to be able to have access to a tool like this especially when you're investing you know a hundred or two three hundred dollars into buying some traffic you don't want to start off without proven ad copy, without proven interrupter images, and definitely not with just a couple of ads that you were able to swing with. So I recommend it highly for people that are starting off. Yeah, I agree. Um, just a lot of comments. Best software I've seen in an entire year of IM. <laughs> Thanks, Matthew. That is, uh, that is a heck of a, of a compliment. I appreciate uh, that, and I know Carlos and Lupe do. Um, let's see. Someone asked, "Can you do Flash or, or GIF?" Uh, you know, yes, animated GIF, right, or static GIF, either one, JPEG, PNG, or Flash. We have uh, creatives for for all all types there. Um, someone says, "Great price." Uh, how can I get my hands on the software? We uh, just we just had that one. So go to getatomatic.com. Um, or let's see, how hard is this? How how hard is it to do this? I, a lot of people are asking about <clears throat> just media buying in general, in terms of getting started. Do they need large budgets? I mean, that's what I'm kind of seeing as a recurring theme. You know, if I'm just getting started, how much money do I need? That kind of thing. And that, that's the beauty. I mean, it used to be, you know, that you used to need, you know, big budgets and. You used to need to do like a five thousand, ten thousand dollar minimum with a publisher. Nowadays, you know everything is going self serve, so you can you know launch a media buy campaign with as little as twenty five dollars, uh, and just get some initial numbers. You know, uh, get some initial numbers, get some traffic, find the winning ads, and once you find the winning ads, you start wrapping it up, and then you start you know scaling it up. You know according to your budget. So no, I mean you can get started with as little as twenty five bucks. The easiest way I could put this to you, so you can have a visual, um, classify your 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 
pretty much working with like something on the internet that's similar to a classified ad. So you're starting off with a small little placement, right? And it's not costing you that much money. You're not spending a lot of money, you know, in the beginning of the month. But once you find the ad that people always, you know, are pulled in like a magnet with, then you go ahead and you say, okay, now I'm ready for a full page ad or to get more traffic. So definitely don't need a big budget and very easy to do. It's not complicated whatsoever. I mean, the software just pretty much makes it, does, does the work for you, you know, as you've seen, you know. So um, th there's a, several people on here uh, that are familiar with uh, Rockstar Power Suite, and a lot of them are asking because I, you know, I've never charged a, a monthly fee for that, and they're asking about the monthly fee. So um, do you want to talk about, uh, you know, what what that fee is for and, and everything like that? Carlos, sure. What so I mean, the, the beauty is when you you know when you get automatic. I mean, you're not just getting the software; you're really just joining a family, a community, a club, you can say. Because uh, every month, you know, we're gonna update it with the latest creative sets of what's working. You know, so it's like you know you being ahead, you know, with media buying, you know, being at the cutting edge, with knowing exactly what's working, what kind of banner ads are working, and that cost just goes to cover you know, the maintenance for that and for the updates so that, you know, you always have the latest and best working, you know, creative sets. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, we've already started work on the next uh, on the next set that we'll be releasing, so, um, which are pretty cool, by the way. Um, let's see. In terms of, I guess someone asked, you want to talk about what they're getting in the training specifically there's some questions on you know do you plan additional training in the future or is the current training video as far as uh, training is concerned maybe talk yeah. about what's actually they're getting in that training yeah I mean the training I mean is I mean the prices I mean the training alone I mean I would jump on this just for the training you know I mean the software makes everything puts everything automatic so I mean it's a great combination here but yeah with the training I mean we're going to show you exactly how to go out and do a media buy step by step, you know, from how to do the research, how to identify where to buy, you know, how to test, how to budget, how to look at the numbers, and the whole process, I mean, you'll basically become a media buying <laughs> expert, you know, once you go through the through the training. I mean, because media buying, I mean, it's really a skill set. I mean, it's just something, you know, you learn. Once you, you know, learn and understand the process, the rules we use, Anybody can do it. I mean, we've trained people that are killer media buyers in our team that they never bought media before, you know? Um, so it's all, you know, you're going to get that step-by-step -step trading that, you know, is going to allow you to become, you know, an effective media buyer. And I know um, you're also talking about doing a, a live example, right? It's um, Is that coming up? Exactly, exactly. You know, I'm even going to take it, you know, I'm going to, you learn all the fundamentals and everything, all the terminology, you understand everything. And then, you know, we're going to actually do some live media buys where I record myself doing some buys so you can see step by step exactly how I do it. Yeah, it's, it's well worth it just for that. But getting the softwares makes it. <laughs> <laughs> like a walk in the park, so um, and, and and just you know, so you guys know, I mean, we, we're almost releasing. Um, funny enough, my, one of my developers actually uh, had to go to the hospital uh, last week. I was telling Carlos, so we're a little bit behind on a feature that I've been working on probably for a month, and it's a it's a markup feature so that will be able, you guys will be able to actually draw on the ads like once they're done so you can do like smiley faces and you know whether it's flash or static or whatever um, it's it's gonna be really really cool uh, but I can't wait to use that myself yeah <laughs> me either <laughs> that's why I had him build it I've been I've been wanting to get him uh, to finish it but uh, anyway unfortunately he he actually is in the hospital <laughs> and uh, but he'll be coming home I think tomorrow so um, hopefully we'll we'll get that out. We're a little bit behind on that one, but um, yeah. I mean that, that's one thing you guys gotta understand, guys. I mean we built the software for our own personal use, so we're making updates, you know, based on what we want and what's gonna put the thing on steroids. 
And not only that, I mean, you know, having like the latest top performing creatives and what's working, I mean, it's just, if you're doing media buying, I mean, this is a no brainer for sure. Yeah. All right, any other questions, John, or are we good? Um, we are, uh, let me see if there's anything else here. I think if, if, if anyone has any, uh, oh, someone asked about tracking. Do um, you guys want to mention, like, how, how would they handle tracking? Yeah, we're going to be covering that in the training as well. That's covered in the training, you know, how to track your ads and how to optimize and how to look at the numbers. All, everything is covered. Let's see. And we have Ricky says that uh, it's the best course on media buying, period. So um, thanks, Ricky. And he says, I hope you're not going to swipe mine when I'm, when I'm running. <laughs> 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 well... If you if you tell us which ones yours are, then we'll make sure we don't swipe them. No, I'm kidding. Um, if you tell us which ones yours are, Ricky, well, I'll make sure to swipe those first. <laughs> that was Lupe. Yeah. That, that was. We Lupe. we know we know Ricky really well. He <laughs> he uh, did our course in the beginning. He just loves it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um, in terms of someone asked about Facebook ads, um, th that's kind of a separate topic um, we do have some templates but honestly with Facebook ads I mean there's not a whole lot to do with them from a creative standpoint so but we do have a size uh, that that we do offer that you know it's basically the standard Facebook size so you can kind of do some some stuff with it but you know there's not a whole lot I mean you can, you can still use everything I mean I use it still I mean for like finding the proven interrupter images the proven ad copy right that I'm going to use in my Facebook ads and I know, John, we've talked about in the future even creating a generator that will generate the worksheet with all the ads for Facebook format as well. Right, right, exactly. So, yeah, I mean, there's there's going to be a lot going on uh, with this product this year. So um, let me see. Either way, I feel that the core is very strong and, you know, the copy is there, the images are there, the headlines are there, and you really can't go wrong with something like this wherever you want to use it. Yeah, other people have been asking uh, about the uh, video. Is there going to be a replay? Uh, and it, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you know, Mark from Offer Vault always puts uh, puts up a replay, so he'll probably send one out. And I think he even puts it in Offer Vault, so um, you guys should be able to see that there. Uh, and then I guess the only other question is, someone says, where do the ads go? Um, <laughs> so um, that's a if you. Like I said, in the media buy training, I mean, you know, Carlos goes in, in, into that, and Lupe, you know, talks all about that, uh, where you can put them in self serve, uh, you know, makes it a whole lot easier these days. So, um, and a few people have asked about the Traffic Tactics book. Could we just show them the URL one more time? Real quick, there you go. So, if you didn't get that URL, it's trafficktactics.com slash tt. Great. So um, that is it. If uh, I don't see any other questions, someone asked how long the offer will be available. Um, I, All I don't right. Really, don't really. I said someone asked how long will this offer be available. Uh, so I mean, the, I know part of it's the first ten. I mean, that was kind of a fast mover bonus. So when those are done, they're done. Um, the other offer will be increasing the price, you know, as we get more users in automatic, but but uh, it's available now. Um, yeah, definitely, we will be increasing the price. First ten people, we give the bonuses to, and it definitely is available now. So thank you all, and thank you for joining us. It was fun talking with everybody. Hopefully, you know, you get you started off on the right foot here. And it was a pleasure uh, talking with you, John, once again, and Mark. Absolutely. Um, Thanks, everyone. Yeah, it was uh, it was great. I enjoyed, uh, you know, sharing, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, it'll make a difference in your campaigns. All right. Well, good night, everybody. All right. Good night, everybody. Good, night. good luck. Bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.